Good day. In today's video tutorial, I will present the first generator of air handling families units for the Revit environment, which is available online. The program was created by VTS and is offered under the name Climacad Online 4.0, CCOL 4.0 for short. It's completely free. You just have to create a user account. Let's move to our example. The object in which we want to design ventilation and air conditioning Ventus units is a three-story office building with an area of approximately 3,500 meters squared and a volume of 9,000 meters cubed. For today's tutorial, we have created a network of ventilation ducts for which we need a supply and exhaust ventilation unit with energy recovery which on the power supply and return will provide us with an efficiency of 20,000 meters cubed per hour. We know the requirements of our building, so let's go to the selection of the air handling unit. To do this, we have to go to www.ccol4.com and set up a user account. And after receiving authorization, we just log in. I have already set up an account, so I go to the unit selection. Let's create the project under which our selection will be available. To do this, I click Add Project, and in the window that shows up, I enter the name of the project, for example, Office Building, then select the location, Poland, Krakow, and click Save. The created project is added to favorites by clicking on the star. Then in the side menu, I choose our project and I click Add Offer. A window appeared with VTS product, so I choose Air Handling Units. In the next window, I have a device configurator, so I choose the type, Ventus VVS Device, the level of the base, two vertical levels, type of device with rotary exchanger, and mounting on the floor. The system suggests ready arrangements of devices, and for our building, I choose the following device. I click Save and move on. In the next view, we have our selection. If you would like to change something, just move the selected element, for example, the filter from the top menu, and leave it in the selected location in the air handling unit. In the next window, we define the efficiency. We determined that we need a device with an efficiency of 20,000 meters cubed per hour. So let's enter such a value. At this point, the system tells us the possible sizes of devices that are able to handle such parameters. So I choose VVS 180 and click Next. The next window is a list of all parameters of our selection. At this stage, I can still change them depending on our needs. Let's choose the automation. For this purpose, I click on the side menu and choose its individual options. Then I click on the calculator icon in the top menu to convert the offer. After converting the offer, CCOL presents the result of the selection in the form of a technical report with all the parameters of the device. The last step is to confirm the offer. To do so, I click on Calculate Offer in the top menu. At this moment, the offer status has changed to Succeed and we can go to the window from which we will generate our air handling unit in the Revit file format. To do this, I click Generate Reports. We can see that a window has appeared in which you should enter the user details to which a message will be sent with a link to download families. Then, enter your data and click Generate. The system needs a few minutes to generate models. Let's check if something has changed, and you can see that the status of our object has changed to Generated. So in a moment, I should receive an email with a link. I have just gotten an email. I click on the link and I get to a page from which I can download our model. I save it to a disk in an appropriate location and I go to a project in Revit. The next step we need to do is load the family into the project. I go to the Systems tab, then Mechanical Equipment and Load Family. And then I search for my family in the appropriate location on the computer. I select the family file and click Open to load it into the project. You can see that the appropriate family has appeared in the list of properties. We can also track it in the project browser. If we go down to the Families category and find the category Mechanical Equipment, we can see the newly loaded family on the list. 
Now all we have to do is grab it with the left mouse button and drag it to the work window to insert it into our model. I will do it in a different way. In other words, I will go to the Systems tab, I will choose the Mechanical Equipment tool, and then in the Properties window in the list of types, I will choose our family and move the cursor in the Work window to the surface where I want to insert this family, and with the left click button, put it on the roof surface. It is worth noting that the family is generated in a one-to-one -one scale, which means that it accurately reflects the dimensions of the actual device that will be delivered to the construction site. I zoom in and I mark the air handling family and press the space bar to rotate it if necessary. We can see that all connectors are defined, both the ventilation connectors as well as the hydraulic connectors and the electric connector. Each of these elements can be used to connect air handling units to existing installation in the building. We have this installation ready. That's why in a moment we will be dealing with the modeling of ventilation ducts. In addition to the connectors, all key parameters have been defined in the air handling unit also. After selecting the object in the model in the properties window, we see a list of parameters that reflects the information contained in the technical card. All the most important parameters have been placed here. Both parameters informing about the efficiency of the air handling unit, as well as electrical parameters, or the weight of the unit. It is worth paying attention to the markings placed on the surface of the air handling unit. All sections have been appropriately marked so that we know what object we are dealing with. Let's now put the air handling unit in the right place. For this purpose, I go to the roof plan in the project browser, roof level HVAC, and run the align tool in order to move the air handling unit to the right place. I click first on the reference plane to which I want to adjust the location of the air handling unit, and then to the right edge of the unit itself. I go to the longitudinal section view in order to raise the air handling unit upwards exactly the same way. We can see that from that moment, the air handling unit stands on the plinth in the right place. Let's start modeling ventilation ducts. I mark the air handling unit and use the already defined ventilation connectors. Let's start with the top track. I click on the connector symbol. The program launches the appropriate tool and we start modeling and join the existing installation. And the same thing is done at the bottom. I again mark the air handling unit. I click on the connector to start modeling ventilation ducts, then change the size, width 1100, height 1300, and attach to the existing installation. In this way, we have plotted the generated family of the supply and exhaust air handling unit into the existing installation. Another very important thing that was taken into account when generating the air handling family is service zones. To show them, I have to rotate the model accordingly and then enter the Visibility Graphics Overrides dialog box, which controls the visibility of individual object categories. And then on the Model Categories tab, I am looking for the category of mechanical equipment and click plus on the left to expand the list of subcategories. I check the box and click apply in the lower right corner of the dialog box. And you can immediately see that a service zone has appeared in the background. This is very important from the point of view of collision analysis in the BIM model. Thank you for your attention. And I invite you to watch the other video tutorials devoted to VTS models for the Revit environment.